I'm Sarah. I live about four or five miles up the road from here in Red Hill. And I first heard about the plans to drill at Horse Hill, I think four years ago when the planning application went in. And looking at the paperwork, I saw all these worrying words like stimulation, um, which reminded me of what was happening at Balkan down the road at that time. So we put in objections, but that was fruitless. Um, it got permission and in two years ago, 2014, they drilled the well. And now, I think two weeks ago, they started flow testing it. And they say the results are good and they've got, you know, millions of gallons of oil down there and they want to expand. There's talk about horizontal drilling, more wells. Um, local people are really concerned. We're concerned about the local threats of possible water pollution, the air pollution, the traffic, etc. We're also very concerned about the climate, though, because we know um, just about everyone's agreed now that we need to stop drilling oil out of the ground. So we're... Um, here to oppose this and we're really grateful to have support from lots of people including the Nanas from Lancashire who have come today. So I'm really happy to meet them. Thank you everyone oh, for coming. Thank you. Um, I'm Tina Rothery, I'm with the Lancashire Nanas, uh, but we're now called Nanashire because we're all over the country and uh, we've come down today because we're already experiencing this in Lancashire, we've already had the drilling back in April 2012, uh, 2011, sorry, and since then we've held it back and throughout the country everyone's held it back since then and they are not in production yet in, in 2016, but they've just changed the definition of fracking to be something else and they're just trying to hoodwink us, but in the end we are here because of the health and safety of our children both now and in the future. The definition of fracking has been changed uh, so that with a uh, little less liquid, a uh, little adjustment to the depth, they can pretend it's not fracking and call it something else. It's now going to be acid stimulation. But in the end, as I was reading about this, it is all to do with the strain underground and the amount of pressure you're applying. So regardless of what they, of, of what they define it, we know that they're applying under high pressure to the shale rock and extracting from that point. And they're putting a huge amount of strain in, under that point. So that is fracking, whichever way you look at it, even if they choose not to give it that name. Hi, my name's Kate. I live uh, just near one of the sites in Blackpool at PLR and I am concerned about fracking, I'm concerned about its effects on the environment and obviously my shop is within five miles of the site which from what, everything I've read is actually the sort of the danger zone in terms of um, volatile organic compounds and and other noxious gases released when they're drilling. We've come today because obviously we're concerned about Horse Hill. Fracking shouldn't really be allowed anywhere in the UK. So anywhere where we, we think it might go ahead, we feel that we have the right to come and peacefully protect the land because it's our land. So we've come down today because Nana's our protectors. Nana's are concerned about the future for our children and our grandchildren and we would like Nanashire to cover the whole of the UK where there is a threat of fracking and we've brought a tabard for Sarah to, to invite her into the Nana family. Yes. Of course, thank you. I'm so proud and honoured. And it's to decorate as you choose and to put everything and make it entirely your own. With a useful pouch. With a very useful pouch. Yay! Nana pouches. <laughs>